Hello, welcome to this lesson of the AC Analysis Tutor. Here we're going to work this problem. We're finally going to put all of our skills together. This lesson, along with several lessons to come, we'll just be solving problem after problem. By the end of it, you'll find out that really everything we're learning is very similar to what we've done before. So here we have an alternating current problem where the current is given by 8 times the cosine of 200,000 times T amperes. That's the current driving up like this. There is a voltage drop, of, of course, across the current source. That's what we're asked to find. Now we have a 10 ohm resistor, a 6 ohm resistor, a 40 uh, microhenry um, inductor, and we have a 1 microfarad capacitor there. Um, so again, think about what would you do if it were just resistors, and then just go that direction. That's really all you have to do. Um, the first thing we want to do is calculate the impedance for every item. So the impedance of the inductor is J omega L, which is J times omega is whatever's in front of the T for your source. So 200,000 times the value of the inductance, which is 40 microhenry, so 40 times 10 to the minus 6. And when you do all of this, 200,000 times this, and you keep the J in front, what you're going to have is J8 ohms. All right, J8 ohms. Again, it's an inductor, so you expect a positive value for the imaginary impedance there. The next thing we want to figure out is what would be the um, impedance of the capacitor. So impedance of the capacitor is 1 over J omega C, which is 1 over J times omega, again, is 200,000. And the impedance, and I'm, I shouldn't say the impedance, the value of the capacitance is 1 microfarad, so 1 times 10 to the minus 6, right? Well, it looks pretty ugly, but then you just multiply these two numbers in your calculator, and what you get is 1 over J 0.2 down here. Now, generally, we want to move it upstairs and get the J up there, so it's going to end up being negative J 5 ohms. 1 over 0.2 gives me the 5. 1 over J gives me the negative J. And I've gone through that several times. You move the J upstairs, it becomes negative. Because we can multiply top and bottom by J, that's what you get. All right, so we have the impedance for everything. So it's instructive, not required, but instructive to redraw the circuit. Okay, You do not have to do this part, but I'm trying to teach you good practices. So I, I recommend it, if you have time, to redraw the circuit. So here we have a resistor. Up on the other side, we have a resistor and an inductor. And then over here, we have a capacitor, like this. Now this resistor was 10 ohms. This resistor was 6 ohms. Now for the inductor,